Hey guys, welcome back. We are in our bathroom today and we are going to be giving you an update on how the bathroom has held up after nearly two years since our remodel. When we uploaded this video two years ago, we had no idea the kind of attention it was gonna get. So this has been one of our most highly requested videos was sometime down the line, do an update video and show you guys how this has held up. We definitely have some regrets. We definitely have some things that did not hold up like we thought. Um, but we are overall very happy with the results, with the bathroom, with just a few different things that we probably would have done differently and we're going to talk all about that in today's video. Before we get started, I thought I would just give you guys a quick reminder of what this bathroom looked like before we remodeled it. So everything was really outdated. Our house was built in 1968 and I don't think that there have ever been any updates done. So they had carpet in the bathroom, we never touched this bathroom like for the first few years that we lived here because we were so mortified that there was carpet in the bathroom. So again, everything was just really outdated, but we still found a way to do this bathroom under $500. So if you by chance have not seen that video, I would actually stop right now, go back and watch that video first, then come back, finish this video so you can hear me talk about the update. All right, so the main thing that did not hold up like we thought it would were the little pieces of wood that we had glued to the window. So I wanted to have like a cottage looking window right here just because this window doesn't open and I wanted to trim it in and make it look like one of those cottage windows. So we used liquid nails and this time around we're actually going to redo it using E6000. This is something that I have used on all kinds of things and it holds up like crazy. So I will keep you guys posted if this holds up and if that doesn't work, we will just have to put an actual real window right here. I would like to do that down the road anyway, just because I don't like that you can't open this window. So that is something that I'm definitely considering. to share our cute little helper in here today i was actually pregnant with him in that last video so it's kind of crazy to see him here now he's 19 months old and it's just fun to see how much time has passed since we uploaded that video as far as the brick paneling goes this has held up perfectly there have been no weird issues with this at all we did read a lot of comments of people worried about uh, the spackle changing colors or there just being weird issues like that it would peel off the wall. I don't know, all kinds of things, but so far so good. This paneling is held up really, really nicely. One thing I've been wanting to add in here were a couple of hooks for some towels. So I thought today would be a perfect day for us to add those to the brick and I will have them linked in the description box below. So another one I want to hang is right here for this. I can't do it closer because the mirror opens. Yeah, I would say right there is probably good. If there were anything that I could do different in here, it would be instead of using spackle, I would use grout because we did it in our basement and I love it so much more than this. This will do for now. I don't think we'll ever change it really, will we? Well, that's the thing. There, we might, <laughs> we might. So another thing is we actually found out this one we got at Lowe's, this panel, and we didn't know until afterwards that Home Depot has a much lighter color, and I'll show that to you guys right here. But because we've just redone our master bedroom with this stone paneling, I probably personally would love to have the stone right here instead. It's not something I'm looking to do anytime soon, but if I wanted it to match now, I probably would do the stone over here. And then the other thing is we probably would go with lighter wood because, let's show here, um, this is the color of our master bedroom and so now when you step into here, it's just a lot darker. Something that bugs me really badly is this mirror won't shut all the way now <coughs> up against the wall. Oh yeah. And it's because the thickness of the trim that I use, I would have just used like the half inch instead of an inch, but I think it's just I used what I had. So. Yeah, you used what we had. 
Now, I'm sure all of you guys have been wondering how the shower has held up. I will share that right here on the door, this is the only place we've had an issue with the spray paint. So we ended up using outdoor spray paint on the trim of the door. So that was some outdoor spray paint. But as far as the tile goes, you guys, it has held up perfectly. We have had no issues at all with the paint on the tile. It still looks as good as it did the day that we did this. And I am just really happy to give you guys that news. We personally have had no issues. And so I am just pleasantly surprised with this product. Something that we accidentally forgot to share in the last video was the floor of the shower. So before it was so gross, like the grossest floor of a shower ever. And we used outdoor stained cement and that has also held up really well. Um, when I first laid it down, it didn't adhere very great. I think that I still had some soap or residue on the base of it. So for it to still look this good after two years, I am really, really happy with the result. Overall, we are really happy with our bathroom remodel and we have really had no issues. Like our countertops have been perfect, the sink, the faucet. We've really had zero issues with this bathroom. So we were really, really happy to be able to save some money, do it ourselves, and we love the result even still two years later. Alright guys, well that's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to watch our first video, I hope that this video helped answer any of those questions that you might have had when we first did the bathroom. But thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!